got to be careful, okay? All right, the Chandler army is already coming down on you like this. You might want to just get out what you can while you can, especially if you don't have the funds to fight back hard. Eddie, you got to do that. No, I refuse to just slink off into the shadows, Ryan, especially after what JR did to me. Okay, I don't even want to know. Look, take this. Take this and find some place safe to stay, okay? And take this, please. And just don't worry about Emma. She's going to be safe. I know she will be. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. And I'm really glad that we were able to put our differences aside for Emma's sake. Looks like you, um, you really found your niche here. You seem happy. Yeah, life is good. Well, I'm happy for you then. And I will pay you back. So you know what you're going to do now? I already laid the groundwork. Good. I'm happy to know we're on the same page. Now, I just found out Ryan has a meeting at the Yacht Club. You're going to meet a friend of mine. His name is Sebastian. He's going to play along with you very convincingly. Now, I don't want to hear any excuses or whining about why this didn't work. You got that? Yes, David. You're clear. Good. You know, for a murderer, you're rather compliant. Hey, what a nice surprise. Come on in, please. So how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I've decided to go ahead and finish law school on time instead of pushing it past summer. That's terrific. Yeah. And with a lot of hard work, I think I'll be able to graduate next month. So I just wanted to tell you that. And um, I also wanted to finish where we left things the last time I saw you. You mean when your father stormed out like a rampaging bull at the mention of your rat husband's yep, name? Yep, that is exactly what I mean. Look, I know that this is hard for you, but can you please just leave my situation with JR alone? I'm dealing with it. It's not pleasant. And it's no help to me if I have to manage your reactions as well. All right. All right. You come first. I will try to back off, okay? Thank you. But I am proud that you've decided to push ahead with your studies. Is it all right for me to tell you that I, I think that was a good move? Yeah, that's okay. Good. So, where are you staying? At Tad and Crystal's. Really? Well, you do know that you're welcome to stay here with me in Greenlee. There's plenty of space. No, 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 no. That's okay. No, Thank no, no. You. Really, really. I, it could help with your study habits. I mean, it'd give you a place to concentrate, you know, no distractions. I mean, you don't have to worry about running into, I mean, you know. Wait. Crystal? Tad? The Martins? Or maybe JR if he happens to drop by? I thought you weren't going there. All right. Look, just, just let me say this, okay? Just let me get it off my chest. And then I promise I won't say another word. Is that fair? Yes, that's all right. Darling, you've escaped that man. And thank God. It was a close call, but now you're free. So whatever you do, do not look back. And do not give that bastard a second chance. This is hard enough without- Of course it is. But I know JR better than he knows himself, and I'm gonna tell you what he's gonna do. He's gonna come to you, and he's gonna try to suck you back in with apologies and promises, with, with emotional mea culpas. But I'm telling you right now, it's all a bunch of lies. That man is gonna hurt you. That's all he's gonna do. He's gonna break your heart over and over and over again. Yes. You willing to talk to me at all?
I'm not one to judge anyone. But I have to say, you... You look like hell. Well, it's been a rough couple days. What do you want? I know I made a mistake on a massive scale. You know what? I am not going to argue with you on that one. But I have to say that I really am sorry that you and Marissa ended this way. Yeah. It's killing me. We've been here before, haven't we, Jr.? You and Babe. Me and Adam. I know. I made a mistake. No, you made a choice. You made a choice between two families, yours and Adam's. I know. Fair enough. But I needed to know from you. So please, just tell me. Does Marissa still love me? this that is an absolutely wonderful school that i found it specializes in young adults with learning disorders and i thought uh you might want to consider it for damon nice campus mm -hmm. in new hampshire it's the best in the country nice try but wait a minute this can help turn his life Forget it. around I'm not sending my son to some boarding school because you can't trust your daughter with him. Which is why Cambius is perfectly positioned for this move. We have the capital, we have the reserves that we need, we have everything. Um, would you excuse me for a second? Great, thanks. Yeah, it's meeting you here. Actually, I think I might have mentioned that uh, I had a meeting here this morning, so I'm not sure it's a coincidence. <laughs> what are you doing here? There's got to be a problem if you're here. I just, I just thought you should know that uh, David fell in the pregnancy test in my luggage. We kind of got to a fight. You did? About what? About you and me and Rio? In part. That and the whole pregnancy thing. Wait, what, is, what does that mean? Are you pregnant? I don't know, Ray. I honestly don't know. 